This is a quick demonstration how to create your own tessellation. The area we're going to be concerned with is the top and side of your square. Generally you want to use a 4 inch square. The design is only going to be on the top of the, of the paper. It can be organic shapes, nice flowing curved shapes, or a combination of geometric shapes. The design should start a little bit before the end of the paper on each side. Then you're going to go to either the left or right side, it doesn't matter. As long as you have a top and a side, you're going to be in good shape. And you're going to make another design that does not overlap or touch that previous design. Make sure that your design starts a little bit from the edge and ends a little bit from the edge. And make sure some of it goes down into the center of the paper. If you don't, if you have a lot of open space in the middle of your design, you're going to have a very boring tessellation. Once you have these drawn, you're going to cut them out carefully. Here's a word of warning. Do not make your design very busy because it will be very difficult to cut out. So make nice, open, geometric, or organic forms. Okay, this is where your cutting skills come into play. You want to make sure when you cut out these designs that you made, one on the side and one on the top, that you are very careful about cutting them out. You cannot have overcuts and you cannot have pieces cut out. It will not work if you don't do if you do it wrong. So, you pull those pieces out and you slide them directly across and you lay them as if they were going to be repeated straight across from where they were cut out. You make sure that the space here equals the space here so that it's exactly in place. Once you're sure that you've lined them up properly, you're going to tape them down. Again, you slide your design straight across checking to make sure that the space here is the same as the space here. I'm going to slide it a little this direction because it's off. These are off a little bit and this space here does not equal this space here. You're not going to have a very clean tessellation. Then when you are sure that you have these lined up, you're going to tape it. So what you're seeing is the design made from cutting out the side and top design, sliding it across and taping it on the opposite end of it. Okay, this is where the fun begins. You're going to take your 12 by 18 piece of drawing paper and your newly created tessellation, center it, and I don't care which direction you go with it, and you're going to trace it. Okay, here is the final traced tessellation. For this demonstration I used a felt marker so you could see the marks, but you're going to do yours in pencil to begin with so you can work out any little skips or boo-boos that you make. Once you have it traced once, you're going to put it in place again and you're going to slide it where it lines up and you're going to trace it again. And here we have it traced two times. Then you go another direction, line it back up again, slide it where it fits in like a puzzle piece, and you're going to trace that. You're going to keep sliding and tracing and sliding and tracing, and some of it's going to run off the paper, so you just trace it as if the paper continues. You're going to fill your whole paper up with this slid puzzle piece design. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, now from the humble beginnings of this one design, we were able to tessellate or trace and slide the design and trace, trace and slide the design, trace and slide the design, so it fits together like a puzzle piece in a puzzle. Interlocking, repeated design that creates interest and movement. 
This is where you will begin to look now for patterns and shapes that you can add lines to, color things in, add eyes, add clothing, add words, add shapes, wheels. This is where it becomes your piece of artwork, original from scratch. Have fun.